opportunity, as you mentioned, Stuart, now a ranking event, so not just the money at stake, but vital points as well. What a cracking red that is. Great, great shot there from Hamza. I remember playing Hamza in this two years ago, and uh, he he done an unbelievable clearance against me, and he, he he's the one he's uh, he gets the crowd on his side. Um, so great experience for both of them. <laughs> They've started early today. They were a little bit subdued yesterday morning, but I think they're well and truly into this tournament now on the second day, and Akbar already entertaining them. Two terrific pots. I guess there are some personalities who just take to this kind of format and this kind of environment better than others. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you've got to be that sort of character. Um, obviously, for Fan, it's maybe probably a bit, uh, maybe probably a bit overwhelming for him. But Hamza, as, as I say. He... Played in this a few years, and as you say, look. <laughs> But as I say, he's only, obviously he's been at the table, he's, he's, he's only on six, so a lot, lot left snooker in this frame yet. Doesn't look as though he's quite landed on anything, so it's going to be a safety. The crowd aren't happy about that. <laughs> but that's the key, isn't it, actually? I mean, we talk about fast and furious shootout snooker, but knowing when to play the percentages is absolutely key to success in this event. Yeah, you, you've got to sort of, it's more or less the first shot you see you've got to play after. I think that's the, the style of this, uh, this format. Um, you can play a bit cagey, but you, you've got to pop balls at the end of the day. And I think you've just got to try and enjoy it and, and, and say, go for it. What are your memories of getting to the final? That was back, what, in uh, 2014? You played the space man, Dominic Dale. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I actually beat Matthew there. Might have been the first round there. So, uh, yeah, he's... Um, Good, good memories. Um, obviously, Dominic, I think he gave everyone a song after, as he does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's sort of say, it, it's literally a, a potluck tournament, and uh, it'd be nice to go sort of one step further. Well, you say potluck as so misses that red as he left something, but I think there is a feeling that there are certain players, those players who, you know, really know their way around the table, who, who would definitely have an advantage over the super attacking players in this oh. and have the ability to actually just think on their feet you know exactly. deal with the pressure of, of knowing that Static you have that please. limited time yeah so I, I was sort of say watching it yesterday and, and Neil said that, that you may probably get only like 60 odd players that could maybe have a chance of winning this. it, it so you got to use your knowledge a little bit I don't know Hamza had the ball in hand there and he's, he's gone a bit wayward there but one could have easily cleared the black spot there and, and obviously made a little break around the black spot. But. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? I mean, a foul in this format when you've got ball in hand. Yeah, Sam was a bit unlucky there, knocking the blue in. But well, he did have an angle on the green to cool. get back to the red, so this is a reasonable chance for Akbar. Made the last 32 in this tournament last year, so he knows his way around the shootout. Plays his snooker at Oldham Academy. Five. Looks like he just made sure of that. You can see him shaking there as well. I would say the adrenaline out there is unbelievable. Something you just can't, cannot control. I mean, snooker is all about handling the pressure. Comes over five. You're a world champion. You know better than most about that. But this is a different kind of pressure, isn't it? This is the pressure to perform in front of a paying crowd. Definitely, yeah. So, like, obviously, I, I missed an easy red in the middle there. And you sort of... You're thinking, how much time have I got? Uh, how much am I in front? There's like, how many balls are left? And it's just say totally different. And do you feel your heart rate getting faster as you get down to the last two or three minutes and the frames of the balance? Yeah, I think I'm still actually shaking from it, <laughs> to be fair. And we're talking like ten minutes ago. Well, we're in the second half of the match now, so it's just ten seconds per shot. And this particular encounter still very much in the back. Only 16 points. Sack bars and hasn't really had a look in yet. He wasn't punished for the ball in hand in the way he might have been. This is where I'm over. 
Hamza can just use his a bit of experience, keep the balls di at distance and try and get a mistake from Zan. That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, you don't have to win the frame. All you have to do is be one point ahead of your opponent. Yeah, as, as we see yesterday with uh, James Watner. Oh, was he Kyron? And Kyron, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two fantastic matches, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great performance from young Ben Mertens as well. What a thrill for him. Yeah, yeah, I see him. He, he was here when I come in. He was practicing already, so uh, he's young and eager. He's 13, is he 13? He's 14 now, I think. 14, so yeah. He looks like a talent. Good rev with the rest from Akbar, so he's still very much in charge here. He's got the lead. <laughs> and he's embracing the occasion. <laughs> Six. That's it now, just trying to keep the run the clock down and keep it sort of pretty safe. Zane, I think, will have to go for Zane pretty soon. He looks a little bit out of his comfort zone out there at the moment, doesn't he? The 18 year old Chinese. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Flirting with disaster there, but just avoiding the in off. Still time for him if he can get a chance. It's a big if. Played as a shot to nothing there from Hamza. That's how he's got to play now. He says he's got to just keep the white distance. Oh, flick on the greens just gave Hamza a chance here. Just about. Wriggled it in off the near jaw. So you can see now he's playing a bit sensible. Any other time he'd be playing up for the blue there or something. So he's just trying to nick, nick one, run away. Fans calling for him to play on the yellow there. And he said, no, nah, not this time. Got a match to win. Feel like that was all or nothing. Ooh. Had he got in there, would have had a chance. It's only 23 points, the margin for Akbar, but it's enough. All he's got to do is keep his young opponent away from a pot. I feel like fat, uh, fans got to go for something here. Good pot. Now he badly needs position on something. And he's going to have to get his skates on. One. Ah, oh, shame. That had to go. You could just that see the last chance to lose. You could just see the adrenaline there. His shirt sleeve was shaking. It's first shot. I'd say he's a tough shot in the yellow. It's a great leveler, this shootout experience you are that bar just looking at the clock just playing the percentages one last slim chance for fan time is the problem now though just over 30 seconds remaining one. 21 points behind it's going to take something superhuman surely No fireworks from Hamza Akbar, but he's played a smart frame. He's done enough. Got that modest lead and he's protected it well. Ten, nine, eight, and just no time seven, left for the 18-year-old to turn the tables as he shakes Hamza Akbar's hand. You get the impression that the man from Faisalabad really enjoys this tournament and the crowd enjoy watching him. Well played. He's through to the round of 64 here at the Watford Coliseum. It was a very low scoring match, one of the lowest scoring thus far, but he's won. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe now. And click the bell icon to click on our latest videos. Subscribe and we will go to your favorite video.